Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be working on a newborn, which is zero to three months, baby flamingo. This is with the hat and the baby um, diaper cover. The material you're going to be needing for this project will be Red Heart Super Saver yarn. Any kind of worst weight yarn will be great for this project. You can even use baby yarn if you prefer that. Um, I'm going with the Red Heart Perfect Pink white and black. You're also going to be needing a five millimeter hook, scissors, tamper's needle, yarn needle or anything that you have a needle for that has a large opening for the yarn to go through. I use these pearl button eyes for like the eyeballs and they're pearl buttons. I've ordered these on Amazon. I ordered the large size and they're just regular little pearl buttons. If you um, do not know where to get these or anything like that and you can't uh, get them, you can also use just regular black buttons. I've also used black little buttons in, for the eyeballs. Or you can just make your eyes with the yarn if you like. I'm also going to be needing these buttons right here which these are about 20 millimeters they're for the diaper cover they're about one inch thick as you can see here and this is just to hold the diaper cover over the baby so you just uh, the straps we go over the buttons just to hold the diaper cover in place so uh, you're just going to need two of these and two of the other ones and both these items I have ordered on Amazon these are wooden, um, handmade uh, buttons. I like using the wooden buttons for some reason. They just look elegant and cute. I just love the way they look. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, to get started, we're going to start off with using our hook and the perfect pink yarn. We're going to start off by making a slip knot. There's so many ways of making a slip knot. This is the way I prefer doing it. I wrap the yarn over my fingers twice. And then from this one, I tuck this yarn in between my two fingers and I grab a hold of it without bringing the um, loose end in. And then I just pull on the loose ends and it becomes the slip knot. Put my hook through. And we're going to start off by making the diaper cover first. So we're going to chain up 45 chains. To chain up, you're going to take the yarn, wrap around your hook. That that yarn is going to go into this loop. That's your first chain. And you're going to continue until you have 45. So you're going to just put the yarn over your hook like this. Pull right through. Two chains. Every time you pull it through, it becomes a chain three. So as you can see, it looks like a chain. You see that? So let's continue on until we have 45. Okay, so now I have a chain of 45. We now are going to double crochet in the third chain from the hook. So you're going to go back three chains. One, two, three. So you see these loops on top? That counts as your chain. So that's one chain, two chain, three chain, and you keep on counting the little holes and circles into your little chain here. So you're going to go back three chains. One, two, and three. So this is the third chain. Insert your hook First you're going to yarn over because we're going to do a double crochet. So you're going to yarn over, then you're going to insert your hook into that third chain. Yarn over again, you're going to take that yarn, pull it right through the chain. 
yarn over, you're going to pull through two loops, then yarn over and pull through two loops. Let's do that again, yarn over, you're going to go into the next chain over, insert your hook, yarn over again, pull that yarn through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through the last two loops. You just did another double crochet. So now what we're going to do is double crochet all the way down the chain to the very end. Okay, so when you get to the end here, you're going to fasten off. Just pull that yarn right through. And then take your yarn needle and sew in those ends. Okay, so this is the strap. So now we're going to add the diaper cover to this strap. Starting from the end of your um, strap, you're going to count back 12 stitches. So these two little loops are your stitches right here. As you see here, I'm going to put my hook right through. That's your first stitch, second stitch, third stitch, fourth stitch, five stitch, and you keep on going down. So we're going to go back 12 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Insert your hook into that 12th stitch and we're going to attach our yarn to that 12th stitch. So I like to make a slip knot. Insert the hook into there and attach the yarn. I'm going to chain up two. Now you want to come back from 12 on this side as well. So it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So here is my 12th right here in this area. So I'm going to double crochet all the way to the 12th. So I'll meet you there. So 
So when you're double crocheting, you already chained two. This is not counting as a double crochet, so you have to go right back into that same stitch again and add your double crochet, just like so. Now we are going to double crochet all the way across until we get to that end of the 12th stitch on the other side as well. Back one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So I'm right there, and so you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one double crochets going across, and you're not counting the chain two. But so now, what we're going to do is chain up two. Turn our yarn around and we're going to work across again doing double crochet. So of course you don't count the chain 2 as your double crochet. You go right back into the same stitch and put your double crochet into that stitch. And now what we're going to do is double crochet all the way across in each stitch. Okay, so now we're at the end, we're going to chain 2 and turn our work around. For this round, we're going to be working in the back loops only and we're going to be doing a decrease on both ends for this end and this end. So to do our decrease, we're going to do a double crochet two together. We're going to start by going into the same hook as where we chain our chain 2, but we're going into the back loop only. So this is the first loop, this is the back loop. Front loop back loop. So you're going to go right into the back loop, yarn over, pull the yarn through, then you're going to go right into the second one, which is this one right next over, the second stitch, yarn over, pull that yarn through, then you're going to yarn over, you're going to pull through two loops, and then you're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops. So now you put two double crochets together to make one double crochet. So at the top here you have one stitch but you have two double crochets making it into one. So now what we're going to do is double crochet all the way across until the last two stitches and then we're going to do another decrease. 
but you're working in the back loops only. Okay, now I'm at my last two stitches. We're going to do a double crochet decrease. Um, putting two double crochets together, what we're going to do is yarn over, insert our hook into the first stitch, yarn over, pull through. Then we're going to um, yarn over, go into the second stitch over, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through the two more, and be done like so. Now what we're going to do is chain up two, turn our work around. We're going to put two double crochets together in the front loops now. What we're going to be using this line for is to add the ruffles to the back of the diaper cover. So we have it in the back so now we're going to work in the front loops so we can have the same line again. So what you're going to do is put double crochet two together Then we're going to double crochet across just the front loops only, not the back loops. And we're just going to double crochet all the way across into the last two remaining stitches and then we'll do another two double crochet two together. Okay, so now we're at the last two stitches, let's double crochet two together, yarn over, insert a hook, pull the yarn through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, go into the second stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through all three. Now we're going to chain two and turn our work around. Now we're going to do another decrease. We're going to put two together going into the back loops now and we're going to do a double crochet two together. And then we're going to double crochet all the way across into the last two stitches and do another double crochet two together. But we're going into the back loops only.
Now we're working out the strap here. Still doing the front post, back post. I'm just going to cut that loose end off. It's giving me a headache. Okay, so this will be our last one because there's a corner stitch right here. So when we get to the corner stitch, you're going to half double crochet and single crochet into that same stitch. Now we single half double crocheted into the post. So the next two stitches you want to single crochet. Okay, so next is the corner stitch and when we get to the corner you want to single crochet, half double crochet, and then as you can see here this is our corner stitch. So you're going to move to the next post and you're going to do a front post, half double crochet, and then back post and we're going to continue that all the way to the next end of the strap. Okay, my last stitch here, and I'm at the corner. So I'm going to do the corner stitch, half double crochet, single crochet into the same stitch, single crochet in the next two stitches, single crochet, half double crochet into the same stitch on the next corner stitch. Then we're going to be working front post, back post, going all the way down the strap and at the side of the diaper cover until we get to our beginning stitch.
Okay, so we're at the end here. I'm just going to half double crochet in the same stitches I did the other half double crochet at the beginning. And then I'm going to slip stitch in the top of my first stitch to fasten off. Leave it tail to sew in. And this is the diaper cover with the ridges. Isn't that cute? So I'm going to sew in my ends and then I'm going to take two buttons and what I like to do is sew them right here in the front of the diaper cover and I'll sew one here and one here. And we'll start doing other stuff. So go ahead and take your buttons, sew them in on the top right here, and sew in your ends. So now my buttons are sewn in, and right here where we have the double crochet ridges right here that we did, that's where we're going to be inserting our buttons in to make the strap. So it just goes right into, as you can see here. You go in between the posts and you just add your button right into there and it holds everything in place. So there's our cute little diaper cover. So to make this even more fancy, we're going to start adding our ridges to the back of the diaper. So where we did our front post and um, when we were crocheting and we're only crocheting in the front post and the back post of each uh, stitch, we have these little ridges popping out as you can see. So we're going to add our ruffles to those ridges. Okay? So for a for the first one you want to do pink, white and then pink. Okay? So we're going to start off by doing our ridges, um, our ruffles to the diaper cover. So what I like to do, I like to work upwards because when you're working backwards they seem, seem to like get in the way and you can't really see or you can actually do it anyway but I like to work from the bottom and work my way up so as you can see these are the front posts that we're going to be working on these posts right here so you want to make sure you're looking at it really good I like to fold my project so I can get a good line just like if you're crocheting on your first stitch and that's where I'm going to insert my hook and attach the post. So we're going to start with pink. So you're going to yarn over, search, not yarn over, sorry, make a slip knot and attach it to your hook. Pull that right through that first loop and we're going to chain up two. For each stitch, we're going to put three double crochets. So we're going to yarn over, insert our hook into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. That was our first double crochet. So we're going to do that three times. So there's two, back in the same stitch again, and three. So now we're going to move it along to the next stitch and we put three double crochets into that stitch. One, two, don't mind the loose end, I like to crochet right over them, and three. Now we're going to go into the next stitch and do the same thing. So we're just going into our top stitches here and I like to fold mine so I can actually see them. Two, I mean that's one, going on the second one, two, and three. And just continue that all the way down.
So I have one more left and I'm going to do the last one here. One. Two. And three. So from here we just fasten off, leaving a tail to sew in. And we're going to switch our color now. So the next row that we have here, this is our first one, this is our second one, our third one. The second row, we're going to use the white yarn. So again, I like to take my hook, look for that last stitch at the very end. Grab the white yarn now, make a slip knot. attach our yarn, chain two, and the same thing again, we're going to work three double crochets all the way across in each stitch. So three double crochets. So here's our first one, second, third, move to the next stitch, one, two, three, move to the next stitch, one, two, three. And I'm just going to continue on all the way down this row. Okay, my last stitch, one, two, and three. We're going to fasten off, leave a tail to sew in, 
And then we're going to go to our next row. So I'm going to go to the far end where my row begins and we're going to attach the pink yarn. Make a slip knot, attach our yarn, chain two. And we're going to do the same thing we did with the last two rows. We're going to double crochet in each, three double crochets in each stitch across. So one, two, three, and we'll move to the next stitch. One, two, three. Continue until you get to the end. I'm on my last stitch. One, two, three. Now I'm going to fasten off. I'm going to tell to sew in. Take our yarn needle and start sewing in each of the ends.
So here's our dark red cover. There's the front. Turn it around. There's the back with the cute little ruffles for their booty. And now let's move on to the hat. With the hat, you want to start off with the pink. Make a slip knot. And what we're going to do is chain four. One, two, three, four. Now the chain four is not considered as our first stitch, so we're going to do four, 12 double crochets into the first chain. So what we're going to do is yarn over, insert our hook into the first chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two. So that was our first double crochet, and we're going to continue until we have a total of 12. So two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, last one, twelve. Double check. What I like to do is this is our chain, so one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. So I like to keep my yarn, my tail in the front so it's easier to sew in. So now I'm going to slip stitch on the top of our first stitch to join. We're going to chain two. And for this round, we're going to go into each stitch and put two double crochets into each stitch. So the first stitch we're going to put two. So there's one, two. Next stitch put two double crochets. One, two, and so on. So we're going to go to the next stitch and do the same thing and repeat that all the way around. Okay, slip stitch on the top of our first stitch to join, chain two, and now we're going to move to the next round. The next round, we're going to put two double crochets into the same stitch. One, back in the same stitch, and two. So next, we're going to go to the next stitch and put one double crochet. Move to the next stitch and put two double crochets into the same stitch. And we're going to repeat this all the way around. So it's one in the next, two in the next. So we just did two, so now we're going to do a one double crochet. Now we're going to move to the next stitch and put two. Repeat that all the way around.
So now we're going to slip stitch on the top of our first stitch to join, chain two, and in this round we are just going to put one double crochet in each of the stitches. So just go into each stitch and put a double crochet. Okay, we're going to slip stitch in the top of our first stitch to join, chain two, and we're going to repeat that last row that we just did and just double crochet and we're going to start building the length of the beanie. So we just finished round four and we're going to continue on for another five rows, so it'll be a total of nine rows total. So I'm going to do mine off camera and come with the finished product of the nine rows done. So just continue putting double crochets all the way across, slip stitch on the top, chain two, and repeat that for another five rows. I'll meet you there. So I've crocheted all the way to the ninth row as you can see here and we have our beanie now. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We're going to fasten off now. And we're gonna change colors. I didn't even know I had that long string. So we're going with the white. You wanna make a slip knot? And where we fasten out, um, fasten off at, we are going to go back one stitch and attach our yarn. We're going to chain up one, going to half double crochet in the same stitch as is a chain one, and we're going to half um, double crochet in each stitch around.
Okay, slip stitch, fasten off. And we're gonna take our time now to sew in all our ends. Okay, so here's our beanie. Now we're going to add the top of the hair. That's pretty simple. We're just going to use three pieces of purple. You just take little pieces, say about maybe 10 inches long. It doesn't need to be that long because you're going to cut it at the tip anyway to make sure it's your size. So I just cut some strips off. The white and the pink three of each, fold it in half, get our beanie here. I insert my hook on the first row, so we're going right into the posts. Just stab it in there and have it come in out the other side. See that? And we're getting the very top. Now we're going to take all that yarn that we have folded and we're going to pull it right through, making like a tassel. once you pull it all the way through, I think I'm attached to one of the things here. You're going to pull this through. Something's going on here. Oh, it was. Okay, do that again. Pull that right through. There we go. Open up the loop and feed the rest of the yarn right through. Then you want to pull nice and tight. Just keep pulling. What I like to do is take each individual strand and just pull them nice and tight. Okay. Now, I use my fingers as a guideline, and I'm like, okay, I like the length of that, so I'm going to cut the excess off. So I go right on top, just like if you're cutting someone's hair, and just cut it off. So now you have like all little even little flops. So that's like the top of the beanie, almost like a little pom-pom. Now what we're going to work on is the beak. So we're going to get our black yarn, make a slip knot, chain four, one, two, three, four. You're going to put, th I think it's three double crochets into the first chain. So there's one. two and three. Is that right? No, it's four, sorry. 
four double crochets. So just add one more. Okay, chain two, turn your work around. The first stitch you're going to put two double crochets, one, two, double crochet in the next two, one, the next one, the last stitch put two double crochets. Chain two, turn your work around double crochet in each stitch across. One double crochet in each stitch across. One, take your scissors now and fasten off. You're going to turn your work around, put your hook into that same stitch as the chain one. Well, not the chain one where you fasten off at, sorry. Make a slip knot and attach your white yarn into that first stitch. Chain two. So where you fasten off that stitch, you're going to put, attach your yarn and chain two. We're going to double crochet each stitch across. One double crochet in each stitch across. Chain two, turn your work around. We're going to do a decrease, so we're going to double shade um, two together. So first stitch, you want to put one double crochet into together. Sorry, just like so. So we're going to double crochet into two. The first one, move to the next one, another one. See that? So you're putting two together and then you're double crocheting one into the next two stitches. Now you're going to do another decrease and you're going to double crochet two together. So insert your hook, pull yarn through, pull through two, yarn over, insert your hook, pull through, pull through all three. Just like so. So now we're going to chain two, turn our work around. Double crochet two together. And the next one, double crochet two together. Fasten off. When I fasten off, I want to leave a long tail to sew around, to make it sew around the beanie to attach this. So I want to make sure it's enough to go around the white part of this thing and a little bit to sew in the ends. So pull right through, just like so. And then we're going to take our needle and sew it onto our hat. So we're going to attach it to our hat. I like to have it a little bit hanging over, not too much. Say, um, you see our first row, our second row, I like to line it up with the bottom of here on our third row, as you see here. So I'll pull it all the way back, find the beginning of this, and start sewing it on. Make sure it's in the center of the beanie. Okay, and then when I get to this part, I'm just going in. And 
and out. Just like so. I'm doing a back stitch. I'm not worried about that loose end because I will be sewing it in. Now I'm going to take these two and I like to tie them together, make sure like no ends are going to come loose. And then I'm just going to sew in the ends. That one sewed in. Just taking the loose end out. So this one in. And the very tip. So now we have the beak and now we just need to attach our eyes. So I like to get the buttons. See where I want to put them out. I say right about there and I'm just going to start sewing those in. Take one off just to be safe. Okay, the next one. Same row, but on the other side. And we just completed our cute, adorable penguin outfit. Isn't that cute? This would be cute for some summer um, photos, shoots, and stuff like that. It's so adorable. I, go I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave your comments. Please subscribe. Until next time, happy crocheting. Bye. Now we're at the last two stitches. We're going to do a double crochet two together. Chain two and turn our work around. 
This round we're going to be doing another decrease on both ends. So we're going to put double crochet together, but this time we are just naturally just going to go into both stitches instead of the back loop or front loop. So now we're just going to insert a hook and we're going to do our double crochet two together. Then we're going to double crochet all the way across until we get to the last two stitches. We're at the last two stitches, so we're going to do another decrease, double crochet two together, chain two, and we're going to turn our work around. For this round and the next eight rounds, we're just going to double crochet across, no more increases or decreases, and we're just going to be just double crocheting in each stitch all the way across for the next eight rounds. So now we finished the first of the eighth, so now we're going to be going into our next one, which will be the seventh round because we already finished one. So that's one round, so we're on the second round as well. And we're just going to double crochet across. I'll meet you back here when I have all eight rounds from here to there done. So it'll be a total of 14 rounds total with the eight included, I believe. Let me see here. So eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yes. So I'll meet you there when we get to the 14th round. Okay, so now I've already finished 14 rounds total, the eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. And I told you just from here, eight rounds up, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. As you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now we're at the end. We're going to chain one. And what we're going to do is turn our work around. And we're going to half double crochet all the way across, all around the edges, all around the straps. When we get here, we're going to be putting single crochets we're going to be half double crocheting all the way across, single crocheting at the very tip here as well, and then we're going to half double crochet all the way around the other side. We're going to do this twice, but we're going to do the first time just a basic half double crochet, and then the second round we're going to do a front post, back post on the sides and on the strap. So, I'm just getting you guys prepared. So half double crochet. You're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch as the chain one, yarn over, pull that yarn through, yarn over, and pull through all three loops. That was a half double crochet. Show you again. Yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, pull the yarn through, yarn over, and pull through all three. So now we're just going to half double crochet all the way across.
Okay, we're at the corner. And so when we get to a corner, we're going to half double crochet two into that corner to keep that corner a corner. So now there's two half double crochets into that corner. Now we're going to be working on the side here. What I like to do is I like to go in between the posts of the double crochet, like right in the double crochet as you can see here. And then you see the two double crochets. I like to go right in the middle right here. See that? So now I'm going to go into the post. And I like to put my hook right into the post. And then I go right in between the two rows. There's like a little opening. So into the post, in between the two posts. And I'm just going to be t continuing that all the way down. working on the side here. Okay, now we're working on the back of the strap and we're just going to go into each of the stitches. Just half double crochet in each of those stitches. Okay, at the end here, we're going to put a single crochet because it's a corner stitch. So we already put a half double crochet. We're going back into that same stitch we put the half double crochet in and put a single crochet. Now into the post, we're going to put another single crochet. The other stitch on the other side right here, we're going to put a where our chain is at pretty much, our beginning chain. We're going to put a single crochet there. And then we're going to put a half double crochet into that same stitch. So pretty much what we did here, we're doing here to make that corner still a corner. And now we're working on the top of our chain, our beginning chain here. And we're just going to be going into the chains, which I like to sc scatter my stitches so I go underneath the chain into where the beginning of the front du first double crochet is at, as you can see here. So instead of going into the top of the chains, I like to go right in between and get a good grip on that and do a half double crochet in between like the bottom of the chain. So we're half double crocheting all the way across.
Okay, we're at a corner again. So what we're going to do is we're going to half double crochet and then chain one into the same stitch. Chain, not chain one, I'm sorry, single crochet in that stitch. So it's a half double crochet and then a single crochet. Then you're going to single crochet into the post, single crochet into the next stitch, and then in that same stitch you're going to put a half double crochet keeping the corners. So it's a half double crochet, single crochet in the same stitch, then into the post you're going to put a single crochet, then the next stitch you're going to put a single crochet and half double crochet. So now we're going to be working on the bottom of our strap and we're going to single crochet all the way to the end here. And we're just half double crocheting in each of the stitches. And now we're going to be working on the side. So we're going to be going into the post in between the two um, rows into the post and in between the two rows. And I'm just going to continue that all the way down to the very end. Okay, so now we're at the very end and I'm going to half double crochet into that top stitch where we put our chain one and our half double crochet to make the corner. And now I'm going to slip stitch on the top of our first half double crochet and to join and we're now going to chain up one. Okay, so now if you prefer having your double cover, um, your, dub, um, your crochet diaper cover with just the border like this, you can stop from here, fasten off if you like, but I like to kick it up a notch and I like to put this ridge on the side so it like um, doesn't show the diaper as much. There's no openings, it's snug around the legs and that's what I like. So I'm going to show you how I do that. So what we're going to do is half double crochet from here to here for right now and then we're going to do the front post back post. So we already chained one, so we're going to half double crochet into that same stitch as a chain one. And we're going to half double crochet into each of the stitches across. Okay, so our last stitch, we are going to put two half double crochets into that same stitch. Okay, now we're working on the side. This is where we went into the front post in between, uh, not the front post, but into the post in between the two um, rows. So we have the half double crochets on each of those rows. So what we're going to do now is our first half double crochet, we're going to do a front post. Our post is right here as you can see. These are each of the posts is right here. And you're going to take your hook, insert your hook into the post and bring it out. So the post is now on my hook as you can see. So if you flip it over you can actually see your hook 
So that's how you get the post on your hook. And this is how you're going to get the half double crochet on the half double crochet front post and back post. So what we're going to do is yarn over and we're going to take that yarn and pull it through the back of the post. So now the yarn is in the back of the post and we're attached to yarn. So we're going to yarn over and we're going to pull through all three and we're going to do a half double crochet front post. So now it's lifted up a bit and it's right in the front of the post. So now we're going to do a back post. So you're going to yarn over. You go in the back of your project and you're going to put our hook through and we're going to go to the next side of the other side of the post. So now the post is in the back of our hook. See that? And we can see the hook right here. So we're going to yarn over. We're going to pull that yarn right through the back of that post in the front of the post actually. And then we're going to yarn over and pull through all three. So now we did a front and a back post. So we're going to continue doing that and we're going to just go front post, back post, front post, back post and we're going to continue that going all the way down. So here I did the back post and so now I'm going to do a front post. And after I do the front post, I'm going to go into the back. And I'm going to keep doing this until I get all the way to the end. And you start seeing those ridges that I'm telling you about. They are so cute. They actually snug the little legs around it a lot better and the diaper and the booty of the baby so it doesn't show the diaper cover as much.